Grand Casino here in Las Vegas, Nevada, as we have a big night of action in store for you. And it's all brought to you by Bob Arum's Top Rank Incorporated in association with Tecate, the Mandalay Bay, and Showtime. This bout coming away is the first of our featured attractions. It is also brought to you in conjunction with Cedric Kushner Promotions and Duva Boxing. It is sanctioned by the NABF Supervisor Sam Macias, along with the Nevada State Athletic Commission. Introducing our three judges, they are all from Las Vegas, Nevada. Dick Houck, Robert Hoyle, and C.J. Ross. Introducing our third man of the ring, the referee in charge of the action. He'll be giving instructions after the introductions, Toby Gibson. All right, fans, here we go. 12 rounds of boxing for the vacant NABF Heavyweight Championship. Introducing to you first on my left, he is fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing white trunks with blue trim, he is originally from Uyo in Akwaibum, Nigeria, now fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. He weighed in at 247 pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with 20 wins, no losses, 17 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the Nigerian Olympic representative, currently ranked the NABF number three heavyweight, introducing the Nigerian nightmare, Samuel Peter. And his opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the red corner in this 12-round attraction, wearing white trunks with red trim, joining us from Long Beach, California. He weighed in at 226 pounds. His record stands at 41 wins, four losses, and one draw, with 36 big wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the NABF number one ranked heavyweight contender known as Half Man, Half Amazing, introducing Jeremy Williams. Once again, it's Toby Gibson, our referee in charge, 12 rounds of boxing scheduled. Hey, gentlemen, I've given your instructions prior to this fight in your respective dressing rooms. Considering this a legal punch on both boxers, and I want both trunks to stay at this height, including the ab belt. Do I have any questions from the red corner? Any questions from the blue corner? Give me a clean fight, obey my commands at all times. Good luck to both of you. Jeremy Williams, who has the look of a cruiserweight, especially next to Peter, has been a contender spoiler, stopping Swedish prospect Attila Levin the last time out. Can he do it again? Sam Peter predicts his second round knockout, adding, I just want my fans to enjoy round one. <laughs> Undefeated 17 of his 20 wins by way of KO. Bell round one scheduled for 12 for the NABF heavyweight title. Williams, who never minces words, says, on, I'm a man, he's a boy. If I can't beat this guy, then I don't Break. need to be in boxing anymore. Kick, I need to kick. get a neat Watch job at Dunkin' Donuts. It's really like pulling teeth trying to get him to open up. You know? Oh, yeah. He's, he's, <laughs> he's, he's, clean Nothing inside. Clean not, inside. Uh, a beauty of, that's for sure. Now, in this fight, Jeremy Williams wants to make the pace. Uh, we've seen Peter before uh, be very laid back and not very active, but already, hey. look, we've seen more right. action in probably the first 30 seconds of this fight than we saw in the Jofar fight from Peter's uh, for the whole fight. So clearly the pace has been set by Williams, but uh, Peter very happy to accommodate so far. Seven of Peter's victories have happened in the first round. 13 KOs within two, 14 of his 17 KOs in three or less. However, as mentioned, his last two went the full 10. Is it an aberration? Or is that the real Samuel Peter? Williams with 14 first-round knockouts, 25 of his 36 KOs within three, unbeaten his last seven fights. Now, there's the right hand from Peter following the jab. That's a very important punch for him. Williams is, for the most part, staying on the outside. And if he gives Peter the, this kind of room and Peter can throw those right hands, it'll be a problem. But Williams with his own right. Williams in the red, white, and blue, 6-0-1, four knockouts on, since on. his last defeat. 
a fifth round TKO loss to our old friend Brian Nielsen back in April 2000 <laughs> in which how do you figure that one well <laughs> Williams claims he was deliberately food poisoned in a wild crazy scenario in Copenhagen Denmark there's a right uppercut not by Peter but by Williams so far in this first round there's been a difference in hand speed Williams has better hand speed but then Williams expected that uh, the question is can he hurt Peter when he hits him and will he get nailed by Peter Wild swing and a miss by Peter. Williams too quick for him there. They have one common opponent, a fighter named Marion Wilson. Williams won by eight round Frank. decision. Peter Frank. by four round this decision. Listen to me, gentlemen. Marion Wilson me. has Focus. actually fought every single heavyweight of the last 25 years. Is that right? So it's, you know, uh, Peter is getting, being seduced into throwing a lot of left hooks in response to Williams' left hook, and that's really a mistake. That's not his best punch. Uh, he doesn't want to get caught in a, a battle of hooks with Williams. And if Williams is smart, he won't go straight back. He will stay moving side to side. He can get tagged if he goes straight back by one of those long, powerful punches by Peter. Interesting first round. One that is more active than I think some people might have anticipated. And a close one. Final seconds of the opening round. The crowd favorite from nearby Long Beach is a straight right hand by Peter. The crowd favorite is Williams. There's the bell. A flurry just before the bell by Peter. Keep it up, man. Tighten it up. Keep, it up. keep everything tight. Look, keep doing what you're doing. Get that bucket over here. Look, keep doing what you're doing. You've got to bring your hands right here. Keep everything right here, especially that left hand. All right? Move to your right. Stay away from his right hand. I need you to, to really start doubling up and giving me more jabs. Good round. <laughs> but you're giving him too much time, so you got a double jab, get inside, let your punches go. Don't reach. All right? Room with the punches, man. Put it in. Take your time. Don't reach. Don't reach. Pops Anderson talking to uh, Sam Peter from the Steel City of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and John Bray in the corner of Jeremy Williams, who was rehabilitated after suffering a stroke, got back into the sport. He's known John for about 20 years as Jeremy Williams. They fought, they sparred, a terrific trainer, John Bray. John Bray was a very good amateur, and uh, he gave, he and Pop Sanderson both gave good advice to their fighters. Oh my, whoa! Over there, come on, Sam! Look out. If he gets up, it'll be a miracle. Toby Gibson waves it off, and uh, Jeremy Williams needs immediate medical attention. What a knockout. Towel. Get a towel. Both of them. Get a towel. Hang on. Just take some breath. concern for Jeremy fight. Williams right now. They are trying to get the mouthpiece out. I believe they did. And now, of course, uh, the uh, physician uh, is in there looking at him. And one thing about Nevada, of course, uh, That's right. the best That's right. medical care available you should. in this state for a fighter who's in this situation. It was a big left hook that landed from Peter. It was as Williams was pulling away, and I think part of the issue was Williams just didn't expect to be hit at that moment, and that was part of the problem. It was a very wide punch, but it landed perfectly, and um, has created this very, very uh, difficult situation right now, and everybody in the ring very concerned, and everybody here at ringside concerned as well, hoping that Jeremy Williams will be conscious. And Anxious moments here for Jeremy Williams. 
as they tend to him following that shot by uh, Sam Peter that put his head to the canvas. Unbelievable knockdown. And after about two or three, Toby Gibson just waved it off. He saw the seriousness of the situation. What an unfortunate way to open things up. All right? You spit it out now. That's a good sign. His eyes are open. See the concern on uh, Peter's face. Just heard a report that the doctor said he's okay. You can see uh, on, bud, Jeremy Williams sit, is trying to get up. Come on, on, come on out, Jeremy. Like that. That's good. Stop. Dr. Stop. Jeff That's good. Right there. Right there. there. You out of it still? Was talking to Jeremy, Jeremy Williams. Stay with me for a minute. Still feel kind of out of it a little bit? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go back down, Doc. So no, we're okay. going we're we're to get him out. Okay. No, no, no. no, no, no. We're, you know what we'll do is we'll we're going to take him out probably and just get him straight over to the uh, ER. You know what, Jeremy? Do you want to walk or do you want to you sit for a minute? or you want? Let me sit for a minute. Okay. okay. Why don't you come to this chair behind me? Come to this chair. Okay. Help him with his other glass. Come this way straight up. Got I got him. I got him. I got him, Tony. Stand up to the chair behind me. Great to see him getting up to the seat. Support him right here. Organizer discombobulated. They're going to take him to ER to check him out. Well, this is what created those anxious moments that we hope now um, we're only anxious for a moment. And there's the left hand. He hit his head at the canvas as he came down. That left hook by Peter which ironically is not normally his most powerful punch, but in this case it certainly was. And on top of that, Jeremy Williams had to hit the canvas as he went down, which added um, to the concussive force of all this. Wow, that was a big left hook. And uh, Williams' hands were at his waist inexplicably. Uh, and part of it is, you know, he doesn't really expect this guy to be throwing those big sweeping left hooks at him. And so it really caught Jeremy Williams by surprise. Just, there's the hook over the right hand that's very, very low. And um, Jeremy Williams would be in this position for a good couple of minutes until finally the, they were able to get the mouthpiece out of his mouth. I just want you to focus for a minute. You'll be good. You'll be good. Slip these off. Jeremy Williams knocked out cold, the kind of dramatic knockout that can send a man into retirement. Let's get it up to Jimmy Lennon, Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 27 seconds in round number two. The winner by way of knockout, he is still undefeated, and the new NABF heavyweight champion, the Nigerian nightmare, Samuel Peter. Nice shot, nice shot. 